What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the QPR series and today, 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 today is the big one. It is the Champions League final at the new Camp against Manchester City. Now, if if I didn't want to be screwed over with uh, copyright stuff, I would have put the Champions League music on, but I don't. So, we're not going to have the music, but I would sing it to you as well, but I don't want to sound like an idiot. So, uh, today we have Manchester City, as I just said. So... So, 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 you want to know what happened in the dress rehearsal, which was the Premier League game. It was at Loftus Road, and the scenario was simple. Manchester City had to beat me to have any chance of winning the Barclays Premier League title. All Tottenham had to do is draw or win, I believe the case was. So, um, I can't remember who they were playing, actually. Uh, but the big thing was Manchester City had to beat us, which they did. They beat us 3-2. They beat us 3-2 with goals coming from, for us, uh, Abel Hernandez and Tessera. Um Now, that's not good, as you're probably you know, fully aware. That is not good. We lost 3-2 at home, at, at our fortress that is Loftus Road. We managed to lose to them. With pretty much the same team that's going to go up against them here in Spain now. So, uh, that doesn't bode too well for us. But what is quite funny is that Tottenham actually got the job done and did end up winning the Barclays Premier League title. Because uh, Tottenham, what did Tottenham do? They played Wigan. They played Wigan, and they tranced them five five one. So many uh, Tottenham have, are now the Premier League cha uh, ch uh, champions of England. We finished in third. United would end up going and loot drawing with Chelsea, which was quite nice. And uh, Neymar got two goals of the season. Actually, it was quite funny. They, he got the top two goals. Relegated teams were West Ham and Stoke and Wigan, of course. And with regards to coming up, Huddersfield or Swansea, I suspect Swansea will win that. Um, and Blackburn and Ipswich are coming up to the league. Um, Chesterfield, damn, got relegated. Wow. Um, today. Today is the big one, as I just said. Actually, and Man United did end up winning the Europa League, I do believe. If anyone was interested. They beat Marseille in extra time. But today, today, the team is stripped to the bare bones again. We've got in three injuries, or well, two injuries. Three injuries if you can't count Fiera, so he's coming back 68% fitness. He's only just come back, literally, so he's not available. So three, effectively, three injuries. Suspension, unregistered players, of course. Stripped down to the bare, you know, literally the bare bones now. Everything is up against us here. Everything, I think. Because I've, I've gone through the Man City team. I, uh, I singled out uh, Edson Cavani. Um, and one day, Aguero and Fellini, three players. I've you know, big them up, and all three of them, all three of them just came back and said something like things like, "I like being singled out. I just want to live up to the uh, the hype." Saying, um, "I enjoy, I enjoy the pressure or something." Um, yeah, it was an epic fail. It just didn't work for the um, for the FA Cup one against them. I did it, and uh, it worked. Sort of, they, they were a bit nervous about being singled out for this one. Didn't work. Uh, I bitched about uh, Mancini. I um, spoke about the game beforehand, um, saying how it's going to be massive and all that sort of stuff. So I've done everything I can here. I think right. I'm assuming they're going to play with wingers because they haven't all season. They haven't right. So, but what I did I have noticed is Aguero and Pastore do bomb into the wings actually, as does Witzel. Witzel, he does go out wide as well because Cavani is obviously a big target. They get the ball in, so and Kabul actually is quite a good crosser. It was actually said in the text commentary on the game beforehand. So he's obviously going to be crossing a lot. But I'm going to say, I'm going to tell them they can do this. I'm not. I'm not going to go for the pressure. I'm not going to tell them that. I don't think. I, I don't think we need to. Right. What we're going to do is exploit the flanks because we have got the wingers' advantage. And I'm going to tell them to play wider, actually. We're not going to go attack because that will backfire on us. So we're going to stick with that. On a side note, Morella has asked to play first team football. He was complaining to me. So what I told him is he's going to be, he's not featuring this season, but he'll feature a lot next season, which could happen, actually, because Martin's Indy's under interest from West Brom. And I'm thinking of selling him um, for however much I can get. 
and then utilising Morello as his replacement effectively because Morello can obviously play central defender and right back which is crucial for us and he's 20 years old so I'm not 100% certain on what's going to happen with the re registration but Martins Indy's already registered in the Premier League so that's going to work out quite nicely if not, if I don't have to register Morello then I can obviously unregister uh, Corker in, his, in, in, in uh, the place and still have, therefore have more centre-back options um, to play all the time which should be awesome. Now, we were crap against Man City. As I said before, we were terrible. Um, I guess, well, I think Man City obviously were playing for the title and we weren't really playing for anything. Really, I was using it as an op opportunity to, to look at their tactics, see what they're doing and stuff like that. So I, I got that done. Um, I, got, I looked at that, so um, it wasn't too too bad. Tom Clever is coming up. And we need to do need to keep an eye on what's happening at the back because two yellow cards it could be devastating for us. But I'm a bit annoyed. We, uh, I know we we could have stopped getting Man City getting the title. It, it did end up they didn't. Obviously Wigan were terrible against Tottenham. Clearly five one. But it would have been nice for us to do our part and stop them getting the title. But we couldn't get the job done. And Tottenham obviously could get the job done. So they did end up getting the title. I'm trying to keep myself away from thinking about the game because I'm actually quite nervous about this one. But Junior Hoyland! <gasps> Shit, man. Set piece as well. A set piece. Oh, no, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Pastore buries it. Oh, it was too good to be true, wasn't it? But from a set piece, Junior Hoyland. He normally cuts inside and stuff. I don't want to put Gibbs on. I really don't want to put Kieran Gibbs on. Because I need to take Coleman off because 80% and a yellow card. So we're going to leave that option up our sleeve. And what we're going to do is we're going to take... Pause it. We're going to take... Oh, God. I don't know. Um... Uh... I wish I had all my options on my bench. I really do wish I had all my ammo on my bench. Um... Put Junior Giuliano on. Oh, that's risky. That's risky. That is risky. But risk comes with reward. Risk does come with reward. He's crossing is not going to be as good as it, actually. Oh, as I was trying to say, I'm trying to not talk about... To, trying to take my mind off of this because I'm nervous. I'm nervous as I can be about football manager. Because this is massive for us. Massive. I'm really reluctant to go to attack. I'm reluctant to change it from standard. I mean, we're getting battered here. Shots. The complete opposite of the FA Cup game. I don't want to put Adam Wilson on because Hernandez is the guy who's been scoring goals for us. So I don't want to change that. What's Gibbs like at penalties, actually? That could be a big thing. Coleman, is he better? Marginally better. Uh, Adam Wilson, fourteen, because this could go to penalties. So I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I've only got one change left, so I could leave it. Fourteen is so nothing different, different now. Oh, should we, should we see attribute? Uh, I can't be bothered to do all that. Um, no, we're not going to change anything because I'm going to, I'm going to bank on it going to extra time, and then we'll make a change and we'll bring somebody on. I don't know who yet. To Stegen, clears the ball up the pitch. Williams, please get your nut on that. No, loses the header. Witzel, do not score. Not on the 85th minute. Don't do that to me. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. Good work, Dave. Good work, Dave. Giuliano gone. No. Come on, please go to the other end and score. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. No, cleverly. Don't do it. Not 86 minute. Do not rip it away from us. Coleman. Oh, crap. Here they come. It's so that is so cruel. That is so cruel. Oh my God. Eighty sixth minute. Eighty sixth bloody minute. They've battered us. They've hammered us this game, but we held on. And then we've done it. We've screwed it up.
One game too far, guys. One game too far. One game too bloody far. This Man City team's too good. Too good. Too good for us. I'm genuinely really disappointed. Oh, got it, man. That's it. Game up. Well played, Man City. Well played. I'm going to tell them they're unlucky. Uh, I'll do that. There's no point having to go. It's the end of the season. There's no point. Oh. They destroyed us. They destroyed us. 20 shots, 9 on target, 5 shots, 1 on target. You know, obviously 52% possession. They won that. High average rating. Their pass completion was better than ours. They did everything right. They deserve to win, but 86th, what, 86th or 87th, whatever it was. That is cruel. 87th minute. That is cruel to rip that away from us. Oh. So that means we come away from this season with just an FA Cup. Just an FA Cup to our name. Which, really, on the face of it, having been in the Community Shield final, Capital One Cup final, FA Cup final, Champions League final, and being in the title race up to a point we were, to only come away with one trophy really is a disappointment, big disappointment. But this season's been in incredible. The way we've, in particularly Europe, has been incredible, I mean. Uh, I'm going to tell them they were hungry for next time. Proud of the performance. I'm proud of the team. I'm not really, but... Um, uh, there's no way he's leaving. I have to believe in the club. Um, 18 million. Financially brilliant. Our great run, obviously, financially for us. But... We couldn't get the job done this year. We couldn't get the job done in the competitions. But for our first year ever in the Champions League, to get to the final is incredible. Yeah, everything's incredible. Did really well in Europe. To be in a title race was awesome. To get to the finals is awesome, but you got to get the job done. So we need to find ourselves, find an opportunity, to find a way of getting the job done in the big ones, which obviously are the finals. Extra time defeat, harsh. Champions League late winner. FA Cup, we got that one done. And then the title race was lost. Um, well... There's no, there's no real point when the title race was lost, really. It was just a case of we drew too many games. I guess you... No, I, I, I'm struggling to see where... I mean, that is a really good record. You know, loads of green and yellow, but you just see... You just look. I mean, Tottenham won it in the end, but look at the step up in class. It's not that a lot different, but here, look. You see, it's just this is where... Look at that. That's incredible to pull off that sort of form. They fell apart here, and yet they still got the job done. I suppose FA Cup and Europa League of the defeats, yeah, but draws as well in the league. Right. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Right, next season we'll have to go for the win. You have to get the job done next year, I guess. So, it makes us hungry for next year. So, onwards to season six. I want to say season six. Next year will be our sixth season, I do believe. If my maths is right. Fifth season? No, sixth season. Yeah, sixth season. Right, next year will be our sixth season. So, tight objective next season has to be... I want to win the league. I want to win the league next year. We've got to find ourselves 12 points from somewhere. We've got to try and come up with 12 points and whatever that plus goal difference we've got to make up is. So, that's the objective next year. The league. I want the title. We need to do, we need to, obviously, I, I want to say we're going to win the Champions League, but to do both is going to be extremely difficult. If I can get anything, I want the league. I mean, Barcelona always say the league comes first. Obviously, they want to overcome Real Madrid. But they always say the league means more. Guardiola always said, because it means you're the most consistent team in your own division all year long. That's what I want. I want the Premier, I want the Premier League title. That's what I want next year. So, next year, season six, we're going to launch our assault on the Premier League title. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys for the start of Season 6.